Hey everyone, welcome back. I did a shop and deliver on DoorDash last night and man, I can't wait to tell you about it because something went down and because of it, I have a message for you drivers. So guys, let's get into it. First of all, it's Tuesday. I am just starting my shift for the evening. It's gonna be a quick shift, but all the same, I just took this order right here. So I'm gonna start my story, go pick up the order and continue on. So I had a shop and deliver last night. It was a good one. It was $21. The only thing is, is I got it exactly at nine o'clock at night and I was probably about three miles away from the grocery store and the grocery store closed at 10. So it was 17 items and I'm like, oh, I really need to do this shop quickly. Not a problem. I can get it done. Get to the grocery store. It was a pretty easy shop. I got it done in less than 20 minutes. In between my shopping, there was a couple, a young couple in the store and they were going up and down the aisles. I felt like they were almost following me, but I think it was just a coincidence. They were flirting, they were kissing, you know, all cute lovey-dovey couple stuff, I guess, in a supermarket. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm old and married at this point, but so I go to the gentleman at checkout. At this point, only self-checkout is available, and we all know DoorDash, you can't do self-checkout. You can only go to an actual regular person to check you out. So I said, hey, I'm DoorDash, I'm so sorry, but I need to get checked out. He's like, no problem. And he tells me, go to aisle or register number, whatever number it was. So he's in the middle of checking me out and I hear this lady like yell, like feet away from where we are. Hey, yo, I'm a door dasher. I need to get checked out. So he's like, excuse me, he's in a brown day camera. So he walks over to these two people that I saw throughout the store. And the lady goes, I'm a door dasher and I need to get rung up now. And he's like, okay, well, you can get on line behind the other lady, register number, whatever I was at. She's not a door dasher. How can, why can't you take care of me? And he goes, ma'am, she is a door dasher. She's getting rung up to, you're going to have to wait your turn. But I only have three cartons of ice cream. I want to get out of here. The guy had a lot more patience, I'll be honest with you, for me being in retail for years than I probably would have had at this point. And he's just like, I'm not going to say this again. She was here first. She's a door dasher too. You're going to have to wait your turn. Oh my God, right? <sighs> yeah. I'm going to leave it right there because there's more to the story. Okay, I'm going to go in because I have to go get my food and I'll be back. <laughs> Deal with it. The manager was super nice. 
lot more patient than I probably would have been at that point. And the lady, the dasher, just like wouldn't stop. Like, I'm like, lady, it, it's not that serious. It's we're dashers, so we literally at this point, I would say we normally pick up food and we drop off. At this point, we shop for food and we drop off. It's not that big of a deal, but anyway. On my way, I went and I was out the door. So here is my message for all of you drivers out there. Can we be kind to everybody, to the restaurant workers, in this case, the grocery store workers, can you be kind to your fellow dashers, even if you don't think that they're dashers? I still don't get that. Do I not look like a dasher? I don't know, I think I do. To me, and I see this not just with grocery delivery, and you guys can tell me if you see this in your market too. I see a lot of entitled drivers out there. Please don't be an entitled driver. There's no difference between me and another driver. Like how many times are you waiting online somewhere and a driver like bypasses all the other drivers just to get to the front of the line because they think that their order is the most important order and who cares what these other drivers are doing? Like we're all in this together. We're all trying to make money. We're all trying to get our orders. We're all trying to get out. We're trying to do it as quickly as possible. Well, them not so much. They weren't trying to do it as quickly as possible. <laughs> but my point is, is we're all in this together. If we treat each other kindly, if we treat each other with respect, respect being the key word, if we don't treat our order like the most important order in the world and we notice what's going on around us, man, it would be a lot better dashing place out there in the world. So don't, please don't be one of those drivers. But anyway, I just wanted to come out here and share my story with you guys today. Let me know, has anything like this happened to you guys before? Do you encounter entitled drivers? Do you say something? Anyway, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure that that bell is turned on so you know when my latest videos come out. If you're driving, please stay safe and healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys, and I'll see you next video. Peace out. If you liked this video and want to see others like it, go ahead and check this out right here. New to my channel? Don't forget to subscribe. And everyone, leave me a comment.